the load on my screen now. Right, okay, so thank you all for, for kind of coming to our talk here. Um, as as uh, Jess has already kind of mentioned, uh, just doing a bit of a short introduction on why choose an apprenticeship. Um, so I, obviously my name's Liam, as you can see from uh, obviously from Zoom. Uh, I was an apprentice at Furness College. I've just finished mine in the past few months. Um, I've also kind of, you know, uh, been at Barra Sixth Farm as well uh, as a student before taking on this apprenticeship. So I've had experience there being a student at Furness College as well, if anyone's got any questions on that for the chat after this. Um, but kind of quickly before, um, before we kind of move on to, to kind of why choose an apprenticeship, um, I'll hand over to Ebony, who's just going to do a, a, a couple of minutes on what an apprenticeship actually is and involves. Hi, so my name's Ebony Ambrose. I'm the Student Services Lead and Careers Advisor at Furness College. Um, and we offer a wide range of apprenticeships. So apprenticeship is um, a brilliant opportunity for anyone who is wanting to gain work experience and also gain a qualification at the same time. Um, how apprenticeships work, are they, uh, there's a requirement that students will carry out 80% on the job training, so that would be with an employer, and then 20% is off the job training. So what that is, that's where students will um, come into college and they will do, um, they will do one day a week in um, the classroom setting, okay. So, um, so that will be where they're supported with tutors and then as part of the on the job training they'll be supported with an assessor who will come out and then do observations with students and um, sign off any work speak to their employers so they're kind of like the liaison as well between the college and the employer okay so the support that students get um because some students will start on a level two apprenticeship some you can start on a a degree apprenticeship so there's a wide range of apprenticeships available and they're nationally as well you know not just with what Furness College offer but sort of nationwide as well um, so you know there's like learning support if students need it um, we can support in finding apprenticeships um, so especially at the moment with the um, current situation of lockdown and there's been furloughs going on with employers if for whatever reason um, an employer had to let an apprenticeship go, then there's support there for students to then find another employer. So it wouldn't just be that they let go. So that's just a little bit of reassurance for you if you are thinking of an apprenticeship, but are concerned about the employment rates. So um, as I was saying, they do start from level two um, and there's a requirement for maths and English as well. So depending where you go to do your apprenticeship, it may be that they expect you to have the maths and English already or that they're happy for you to work alongside that. So they will make sure you've got the skills there to be able to continue and, you know, complete your apprenticeship. OK, so um, how it works with the um, the work at uh, the classroom based side is one day a week when you come into the college, that's when you'd work on set units of work that will make up your portfolio of evidence. Yeah. So you'll have a portfolio for all the work that you do with your employer and the practical skills. And then you'll also have a portfolio that you'll do where you're doing the knowledge based and the um, classroom based work alongside that. And then at the end, that will give you your overall apprenticeship qualification. OK, so apprenticeships, as I was saying, they are uh, nas advertised nationally um, and a really good apprenticeship website that I use with um, our students at Furness College who are looking to go down that route of um, studies using the National Apprenticeship website. Um, and you can find apprenticeships in any areas, uh, sort of, you know, any industry based, you know, wherever you want to sort of work around the country, there's different apprenticeship opportunities available. Um, and it's a really good one to explore as well if you're a bit unsure about what kind of apprenticeship you're looking for. So it might be you're considering maybe a construction apprenticeship. Um, so you can have a look for apprenticeships like that or, you know, you're open to your search. So you can use the fill 
filters where you can just search any apprenticeship and it'll come up with all the opportunities. And I really recommend making your search more um, variable. So then you are looking at more of what's out there. Um, it may be that you come across one that you didn't even think of and that you really then like the sound of doing. Um, in my line of work, I've come across a lot of students who have been unsure about what they want to do. And that's been a really good way for them to explore more about you know what is available for young people and you know look at taking things into account like labour market information and you know what is in the area it's a really good way of just exploring things and exploring skills that perhaps students have but they're not too sure how they can apply them so it's linking them to that as well so that's really an overview of how apprenticeships work. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass over to Liam and Kane, and they're just going to do a bit of a talk through about Kane's experiences of his apprenticeship. Yeah, so um, obviously uh, all three of us on this call uh, right now are apprentices or ex-apprentices with Furnace College. Um, so just very quickly, Kane, do you just want to introduce yourself and kind of what you do in college and what your apprenticeship is? Yeah, so I'm Kane Fleming and I'm the digital marketing apprentice at Furness College. So I'm actually employed by Furness College, so they deliver all my training and they also deliver my work based sort of learning. So like on the job, the 80 percent. And basically what my job is in my apprenticeship is I have to ensure that the website is up to date. So, for example, we'll have new courses coming in and new specifications of them courses. So I've got to make sure all the specifications are up to date for the year so that out of date information is removed from the website and that I can't get confused with people. Another big uh, job for my apprenticeship is the social media handling. So as you'll see on our Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn, we do post a lot of social media daily. And that's just basically just to keep you up to date of the things that are going on around college and the new opportunities. So we do a wide range of posts. So it's like there could be job posts that were advertising, achievements from students. And we also run different campaigns with like different artworks. So it's just basically we've got to celebrate all our students and all their greatness that they've achieved. Yeah, that's brilliant. Cheers for that, Kate. So we kind of figured rather than us obviously sitting here and telling you why you should choose an apprenticeship, we figured that as we're all apprentices, we'd share a little bit of our own experiences and kind of why we picked apprenticeships, why they were right for us. Um, so I've just got a few questions here that I'm, I'm going to ask Kate. Um, so, so first one, Kate, can I, do you mind telling us why you picked um, an apprenticeship in the first place? Uh, so I first started out studying A-levels at sixth form, but I realised that that path wasn't for me because I think my learning style is definitely getting into like a workplace and just learning physically and like on the job. So I've got transferable skills into the workplace because obviously I'm learning in the workplace and it's valuable skills. That I can use throughout life and I think it was just really helpful for like why uh, sort of like skills that I need to learn. Yeah definitely yeah um so you've already I kind of answered the next question I had as well which was uh what did you do before your apprenticeship just maybe want to expand on on kind of what what you did at Six Farm kind of um why why you felt an apprenticeship might be might have been a better route. Yeah so I was at Six Farm for the first term so I was studying business, IT and psychology. These are great subjects and I enjoyed them a lot and I found it very interesting at Sixth Form. However, I felt like there was something just not quite right for me. I just felt the way that I was learning that I just, I felt like looking over apprenticeships because I did have friends that were doing apprenticeships and they're just looking over. I think it just thought like the way they were speaking about it, it's like, this is perfect for me. It's like, I would be better in this opportunity for my to progress my learning more rather than sitting and doing A-levels. Yeah so you mentioned there about kind of doing the doing the learning alongside kind of the work and, and bits like that and um, so what kind of skills have you developed since starting your apprenticeship then? Uh, I've developed numerous skills and I think the biggest skill I've learned is sort of like videos editing and that because I had no clue whatsoever about how a edit videos when I started and I first got told by my boss that I was doing it and I was sort of like a rabbit in headlights type of thing so I was like I did not know where to start but as soon as I got into it I was offered loads of support and I managed 
to get the first one done and now I've you know, I've created two more after that and I'm just getting very comfortable with how it all works and just all the college software is really was sort of a bit like just baffled by it at the start but then as soon as you sort of get used to it and then people are telling you oh this is how you do this you just sort of get used to it and then it becomes like a second nature to you. Yeah so you mentioned there about the support there was a lot of support there for, uh, for you as an apprentice wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I can't fault whatsoever the support in an apprenticeship because I think it's the most important thing because after all, you are learning still in an apprenticeship. When you get in there, the employer doesn't expect you to know everything because it is training. They are training you for the workplace. and But you're just doing it in a way where you're working in their workplace. So you're learning and working at the same time. So they do offer you a lot of support if you're unsure on everything. Like people are always there and it's like, You've always got someone to go to if you think, oh, I'm not sure how to do this, because it's better that you ask someone and do it and get it wrong. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, so what would you say your kind of main achievements have been since starting your apprenticeship? I think it's definitely got to be the video editing, because as I said before, <laughs> I just did not have a clue at the start. But then I think the, the way I've developed my skills, I think I've just been very, I'd say probably surprised at how much I've actually developed, because at the start I was like, don't know what's going to go on here and I was just I'm very impressed of how much I've progressed and now if someone tells me a video to do a video for tomorrow it's like oh, I'll be able to get that done easily and it's like <laughs> it just becomes it's a skill that I've developed that I never thought I'd need and also never thought I'd be able to do so it's just I think it's just pushing boundaries that you just didn't set yourself I think that's the most important thing for me yeah definitely yeah yeah and um, so You've kind of briefly touched over this, but um, how have you actually contributed to the success of the organisation? What work do you I actually do being, to help? Yeah, I think being an apprentice is like, you get labelled as, oh, you're just going to take out the tea and everything. And it's like, it's just completely not like that. It's like, the way that you contribute is like, you'll get given tasks and that just to manage the workload of everyone. So I will send through a list every morning to my manager of what I've got to do. And then they're sort of going to be like, oh, can you do this? And can you do that? Because then I've got this to do. So you're basically there, you're just going to help out, get all this workload sort of spread out across the team and just make sure everything gets done to deadlines. I think the best way you can help out is just being proactive as well. So using your own head and being like, right, this needs to be done. This needs to be done for then. So we need to prioritise this. Yeah, that's brilliant. I, I like what you said about there, about everybody thinking apprentices just do the, the teas and the coffees, because as all three of us will know, because we're all apprentices, our ex-apprentices, that's really not the case. No. Uh, we've all had some quite, uh, you know, quite significant workloads at, at points, different points in our apprenticeship as well. Um, so can I move it on to the next question then? We've only got a couple of questions left here, Ken. Um, so I'm going to kind of put two together so what do you think others can learn from your uh, friendship experience uh, but then also kind of going one step further what advice would you give anyone who's thinking about an apprenticeship uh, I think what people can learn is that from my experience I was always a person who thought yeah I sort of set limits I was like oh, I won't be able to do this but I think you just need to be a bit more open-minded and be like right I'll give this a go because you never know I could be able to do it and you've got the support network there for you and it's like, if you're thinking you can't do it, then you just, you really need to sort of just like speak with your coach and be like, right, I'm finding this very difficult. And they do set out a lot of plans for you. And it's like, they will make sure that you're able to manage your workload and manage what you're doing. And I think the best advice I can give to someone thinking about apprenticeship is you do need to think about it a lot because it's like, this could be your whole career. Like if you choose it to be that way. And I think just, and if you're thinking, oh, this is the path for me, I would, greatly encourage you to do it because I think it for me personally it was a great greatest way to learn because it was like I'm getting all this experience in the workplace so it's therefore transferable for like progression and everything and like Ebony touched on before you can go from level two to level three to level four level five and six and it's just it, you can just keep on progressing in an apprenticeship so I would say go for it if you are thinking about it. Yeah brilliant um, so kind of last question there um, for you, Ken. Uh, what are your career ambitions kind of going forward from this apprenticeship? I think my career ambitions, because I do love my job so much, I would like to progress as much as I can in the digital marketing or just marketing in general in that field because I think coming into apprenticeship, it's really showing that this is exactly what I want to do. And 
I think if I can progress as far as possible, I can look back and be content and happy with what I've been able to achieve. Because I yeah. think looking back from even just a year, like what I've been able to achieve is just unbelievable. I never thought I'd be able to do it. That's brilliant. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, so cheers for that, Kane. No, that, that was really useful. Um, just moving back to you now, Ebony. Um, mm. So obviously Kane spoke a lot there about kind of obviously doing work, helping the organisation, it being kind of a really interesting experience of, of learning and on the job work as well. Do you kind of agree with, with all that that he said there? About yeah, I, absolutely. Um, you know, like a bit like Kane, I'd gone to college and I'd completed a year of college. I'd done something totally different. I'd done art and design. And as much as I still love, you know, being art, go, going down the creative route, um, it's led me onto a career path that I never in a million years imagined that I'd be doing. And the support and the encouragement that I've got from um, assessors sort of throughout my time on my apprenticeship, as well as my manager, um, who I'm lucky enough to still sort of work under now, um, you know, it's, it's been fantastic. And, I, you know, my experiences of an apprenticeship and, you know, I would just tell anyone, just go for it if you really are thinking about it. You know, it brings out skills like confidence, um, you build on skills that you perhaps, like Kane said, you never thought you would really use. Um, you know, communication skills, that, you know, that's key. I was one of those teenagers who, you know, wouldn't answer the phone, wasn't really want to talk to people, you know, but it was one of them. I didn't want to sort of be like that. I wanted to be, you know, I've got to push myself more. And as Kane said, it's really about pushing personal boundaries and sort of taking you out of that comfort zone to get you somewhere that is going to kickstart your career and you are on that path to get to become successful and have sort of a you know a stable career throughout your life um so yeah definitely echoing from what Kane said it's it's a really good opportunity um studying an apprenticeship um, and do you have any advice uh, for anyone thinking of, of studying apprenticeship as well? Um, I would just, like, for anyone who is thinking about it, I would definitely explore all opportunities, you know, even things that you perhaps weren't thinking that you would want to do. So um, where I was saying earlier, you know, exploring, um, like, the National Apprenticeship website and look at jobs that you perhaps wouldn't think that you would do because when you start looking further into the job description, that's where it's really telling you more about the job. So it's very much worth reading about it and seeing what is there because there'll be certain things that will stand out to you. Yeah, so I'm going to ask, obviously, the same question that I finished on with Kane there. Um, so what are your kind of career ambitions? Because you've just finished your apprenticeship uh, in, in the last the last few months, haven't you? Yeah, so I've gone up as far as doing, so I started off doing business admin um, and then I've just finished my level six qualification in career guidance um, and I kind of did an overlap there with, um, uh, I'm doing a foundation degree in uh, business management. So eventually I would like to get up to management level, um, but I'm also exploring the teaching route after I finish my degree. So hopefully um, I would like to teach at degree level in the future. Um, but as it stands at the moment, I'm very open with my career in but wanting to stay within the education sector. Yes, that's brilliant. It's quite like a... a yeah, that's it's quite like a wide range of, of things there, really, isn't it? And it just kind of shows yeah. the, the scope of, of, of an apprenticeship, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, opportunities are endless. And, you know, it can, you know, depending on what route you go down and with the employers that you're with as well. I mean, the employers we work with as a college are really supportive and they are keen to let enable students to progress and we work with them to enable them to do that so you know it, it's not it's not just thinking about now it's thinking about the future as well yeah does anybody kind of have any questions that they've not put in the chat already <laughs> uh, we do have a little bit of time a few minutes left if anybody does want to ask any questions I'll just stop sharing my screen and then if we have any, then we can answer as well. Uh, let's just have a look. I think the thing is with an apprenticeship oh, is... Sorry, Liam. I, I would say I don't think there are any questions in the Q&A box at the moment, but I wonder if um, a question I had in mind was, I'm just interested because you each seem to feel that... Um, like you found unexpected routes or um, jobs that you didn't quite um, initially expect. I'm just thinking, 
when you were in school, like way back in school, um, did you know that the, the job you're going for now existed then or was that in mind? Yes, well, no, it wasn't for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was I, uh, when I was... Sorry, you go, Liam. I was going to say, even two years ago now, when I was in second year college at this point, um, I'd, I was actually, around this time of year, attending my uh, interview for Oxford University. Um, so it, obviously I didn't really kind of um, ex expect at all to be on an apprenticeship, but it's it's 100% been the right path for me. And uh, not only have I just finished this apprenticeship in college now, I'm going on to do a degree apprenticeship at BAE in the local area uh, in January as well. So uh, apprenticeships have 100% been the route for me, but it's not something that even two years ago I, I'd, I'd have expected, wow. expected to be doing. <laughs> Brilliant. No, it's, it's very much like for me, I you know, what it, for me, it was just going to college and then seeing what happened after that. And I suppose um, for me, it was like personal circumstances, you know, it's thinking, I got to a stage where it's like, I want a job, but, you know, do I really want to sacrifice my, you know, my time outside of college? So it worked doing the apprenticeship because I found that I was able to still work, learn and have that sort of free time to be able to spend, you know, with fa friends and family and, it, it really worked well for me and then sort of from there it's just progressed in the opportunities that have come up and it's like oh, I'll try this see how it goes and so far for me everything's worked out really well in terms of my career path. Brilliant. Yeah and I think for me as well going through school and even in the first term of college I literally had no idea what I wanted to do. I was like I definitely want to do something in business or management or something like that but I was just I didn't really know what sort of like fields to pursue and I think it was actually my business teacher who said this would be a good opportunity for me so I was like I looked into it researched it a bit and found that this is actually what I really wanted to do and then got into the apprenticeship I think I've just found it it has been literally the perfect opportunity for me. Nice it's so refreshing to sort of hear that from you guys because I think especially I know I felt like that in school thinking oh, I needed to have one idea in mind and I didn't know what it was but actually you actually find by talking to people like yourselves um you know as you take up new opportunities you might find routes and paths that you didn't expect which yeah I guess today are really great opportunities to explore those so yeah thanks for sharing yeah. that oh, I... yeah no worries <laughs> So we are available in the chat until five o'clock. So if anyone does have any messages, then please um, drop, you know, drop us a message and we'll we'll respond to you with any questions that you've got. Yeah, nice. And in your Furness College booth, um, if you want any resources, um, they're all links there, videos. Yeah. And as Ebony mentioned, they're available to chat. Um, and the great thing is that if you start any conversations today, um, or if you wanted to access a platform afterwards, this platform is available after the live session today. So guys, if you have any questions at all, um, you can still uh, check in and pop up on the chat. Do you guys have any sort of closing statements or anything you wanted to mention or anything you wanted to highlight before I close the session? Um, really just to sort of say, you know, if you are thinking about a, an apprenticeship, um, you know, come and talk to us, um, you know, e even at Furness College, you know, if you've got any questions, you can email us at student.services at furness.ac.uk um, or, you, can, you know, you can contact us via phone. What I would strongly recommend anyone thinking about an apprenticeship is definitely checking out the National Apprenticeship website. If you just put that into Google, it'll come up and then you can start exploring them. You can put in for the search filters and then it'll come up with the opportunities. Brilliant. Great. Thanks for that, Ebony. Um, right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in and attending the webinar yeah, today. Thanks, We've had some brilliant insights there from Liam, Kane and Ebony about their experiences as apprentices. Um, so yeah, as we say, any questions, head to, to the exhibition hall where you can catch them in the Furness College booth, uh, pick up any resources and chat further. Um, yeah, so I guess before the next session, I'll close this webinar ready now for the next webinars coming up. Thanks again to you um, all for attending and for all your support from Furness College. Thanks, guys. Brilliant. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.